New schools are under construction, like here at the new State of the Arts East Lake Elementary School. The new facility will combine students from Holly Hill, St. James Gilliard, and Vance Providence Elementary. Here at Lake Marion Middle School, there are 12 additional classrooms being built for Holly Hill Roberts Middle School and Ellery Middle School learners. At William J. Clark, an additional wing is being added to serve students at Clark and from Robert E. Howard Middle School. Community members, faculty, and staff are gearing up for the groundbreaking of the new Orangeburg Wilkinson High School. Students deserve a well-rounded school experience. New playgrounds with slides, tic-tac-toe, and rock climbing walls were added to elementary schools. New athletic turf fields were installed to five high schools providing our student athletes the same opportunity of playing on similar fields as the pros. Multiple facilities receive a fresh coat of paint and new carpet with renovations and improvements added to Edisto Primary School and Ellery Elementary School. Up next, Howard Middle School will be transformed into an elementary school campus, serving students from Whitaker, Brookdale, and Mellishire. And welcome to a special edition of Fosterman OCSD with Dr. Foster. So we're here this morning with some exciting news and some exciting updates. As I've said many times, the key to communication is to tell people what you're going to do, update them on the progress, and then tell them when it's done. So everybody's seen the great progress we're making with our facilities. And I'm here this morning uh, on this rainy morning, but exciting morning with um, one of our great contractors, contract construction and the superintendent here, Patrick. And we're going to take an opportunity to update you on the progress, but let you see a sneak peek of the inside of the building and the progress that they're making on our phenomenal facility. So I want to take an opportunity to let Patrick introduce himself. And again, we've had a great working relationship. They've done an outstanding job um, and made this process as seamless as possible. But again, he's going to give some details and we'll be just exchanging. And again, hopefully you'll get a clear picture of the great things that are going on and the progress we're making here at Clark Middle School. Hey y'all, I'm Patrick Searcy. I'm the superintendent for contract construction here at William J. Clark. Um, as Dr. Foster said, we're moving along quite well and um, getting this building done. Great, Patrick. Well, first of all, um, as we presented in the plans, not only are we addressing the facility, but we're also addressing the, the traffic and the stacking space here um, at Clark. As you um, are familiar with, in the past, there was a lot of congestion and traffic. So what we did, if you see here, you see the um, beginning parts of the um, the new parent drop-off. Patrick, can you kind of walk us through what, um, what parents would expect when this is completed? So, as you can see, we've put in um, the beginning stages of part of the bus loop that's going to go through here. Um, this bus loop is going to extend to just past where this canopy ends and is actually going to be cut off there at the end. And so the parents will come in and have a left turn to take here and have a full double bus loop over that will then dump out into the um, existing parking lot in front of the school. So great, so th this will add about how, how much square, lin linear square foot of stacking space, roughly about? I'd say probably around 600 feet of okay, well, stacking space. Well, great, so we should be able to stack quite a few cars yes, here. Yeah, for sure. And um, hopefully get all the traffic off of the, the roads during the dismissal. And the bus pickup then will be transitioned to the front part of the school. So great, um, with that being said, let's move to the inside of the building. Well, here we are uh, at the entrance of the, the new addition, and this is a, a two-story addition. And I believe we have roughly 20 teaching spaces um, to include a piano room and a chorus room. But uh, let's go ahead and take a moment. Um, Patrick, take us on this side and let us see what um, how we're progressing along with this project. Let's go in. As you mentioned earlier, we're dealing with a little bit of rain today, but. Um, as you can see, we're sitting here on the first floor. This is um, one of the classrooms on the first floor. There's a total of eight uh, regular classrooms on each floor. As you can see, here's our dividing walls that are gonna cut all these apart. Um, there's five classrooms on this side and three more on the other. Um, and these classrooms, Patrick, are about 800 square feet, maybe? Just about, yeah. Okay, 800 square feet, that's, that's great. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good sized yep. classroom. And you can see here's going to be the front with the teaching area with all the marker boards and the smart board's going to go in the middle. All of the uh, overhead except for the ceiling grid itself is complete on the first floor. So here we've got our sprinkler system in as well as a little bit of plumbing um, and all the electrical. These are all the electrical for the light whips you can see right here. So all the lights are going to hang below those. 
So what's this space here? This is a teacher workroom back here. Um, it's gonna have some cabinets with a sink and a fridge over on this side of the room. Um, there's some storage in the back and then there's two individual bathrooms right here as well. Okay. And then there's an office space that sits right across from this. Okay, so one, so teachers also have an additional workroom and their own factory restroom Correct. in addition to student gang restrooms as well. Correct, and we've got a mirror of that on the second floor as well. We come in here. This is one of our two big high ceiling rooms. This is a piano room is what it's called out for on my plans. Um, so they've got a little bit of storage and a big room in here that's gonna have nice high 13, 13 and a half foot ceiling. Um, overhead in here, pretty much the same. You can see a little bit of red conduit. That's for our fire alarm and some other life safety stuff. It's raining inside of them, but this is gonna be the student bathrooms. We're gonna have um, men and women, one on each side obviously here. And there's another wall, block wall that actually goes up ahead of all this stuff when you come in. So you'll have your water fountains right there. There's four total offices. Here's one of them right here on the right actually. And one of them was back there by the teacher workroom. Okay. And what do we have here? We have, this is the actual existing building. Yeah. Where we're gonna cut in and connect Correct, so, yeah. So this is our ramp up to the existing building. Um, right behind that wall we've got built up there actually is the existing building where students are right now. Um, there's an exit right here. We're also gonna have an exterior stairwell that's gonna be above that to bring you down from the second floor to outside. So as we showed on the plan, just for clarity, that our students will still all be under the same roof. Correct. No one have to go outside. Yes, yeah. Um, as we connect to this building for, for safety and transition as well. Of course, yeah. All right, and finally, this on the first floor, this is a a large space here. Yeah, it's a large chorus music room. This is gonna be another one of those rooms that has a nice high ceiling. It's gonna be a big room, um, fit a lot of students in here. Roughly square footage of this room compared to the standard classroom. It's, it's about old. twice the size. Here's our stairwell, our stairs that we just installed and poured the floors in um, about two weeks ago. Take us up to the second floor. Once we're upstairs, we get to this landing, and um, nice. there'll be doors here. Yes, yeah, so there'll be two doors here. This is that. There's actually another wall that has to be built here, um, but we're gonna have a nice big window when you come out into the corridor through these double doors. And then for the most part, the second floor is a mirror of the first floor. The only difference is we don't have the chorus and the piano room at the end. Um, that's just a low roof over there. Looks pretty much the same. All the classrooms are the same size. Again, mirrored to the second floor. Um, here's all my duct work that is staged here, getting ready to get hung for the second floor. Um, as you can see, we're, we've got a little bit more to do overhead on the second floor. First floor is pretty much done overhead. The second floor's got a little more stuff to do. We still got to run duct and put fire lines in. Okay, well, what, what should we expect coming up? Um next stages. So what are, what are the next things that they're going to have in here at Clark? So we've got the roof. Um, they're in the process of putting the roof on right now. Obviously we missed by just a tiny bit for the rain today, but um, as soon as the roof's on, a lot of interior finishes are going to start happening. You're going to start seeing some sheetrock going up. As soon as that's done, you're going to start seeing some paint and block fill going on the walls. And then after that, we're really rocking and rolling. Windows are going in, flooring's going in, and it'll start to look like a finished building here in the next month or so. All right, well listen man, well, listen. thank you for spending some time with us this morning, and more importantly, thank you for updating us on the progress of Clark. I look forward and I love driving by and seeing each day the progress that you're making, so thank you all for yes, today. Thank you all for stopping by today. Thank you. Here we are again, still um, at another site. Here we are at the new East Lake Elementary School, and here with Thompson Turner Construction and then some of the individuals who are helping make this possible. I'm gonna give an opportunity to, to introduce themselves uh, before we get into the details of the building. Hello everyone, John Givens here, um, Assistant Project Manager here on site. Um, we're running kind of day-to-day -day operations on, on site uh, with the site superintendent and our project engineer, Chase Ward. Uh, I'm Chase Ward, I'm the project engineer here um, with Thompson Turner here every every day of the week. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a long process, but something that I'm super interested in finishing and it's been going great for us. So we're standing right now, what would be the main entrance? Um, you, you will walk in here and then you will get to the rotunda. We'll, we'll kind of access you to admin areas and to um, other wings of the building. Um, so we've got a dedicated wing for, for kindergartens, dedicated wing for first and second grade, and then we also got two floors on that area C and B, which will also house our fifth graders as well. 
All right, so wonderful. So this rotunda here will be the area where um, not only will capture the history of, of the three existing schools um, in order to, to, to pay tribute, but um, it'll be a place where you can literally stand in the middle of the building and see down all corridors, um, again, for great supervision, but also student transition. Right here uh, was, will be uh, housed to one of our, what we call stair number two, um, which will be one of the main stairs as you enter the building going into this wing. Um, to my left, uh, your right, will be where we will have the elevator. This is the elevator shaft. This is where the elevator will house that. Uh, which will lead you to the second floor of the building. The final plan that was approved consisted of, I believe, about 83,000 square feet downstairs, 23,000 upstairs for about 106,000 yep. square feet. So right now we're in the current phase of doing overhead um, MEPs in this in this CB wing, which is, it, which is electrical, um, plumbing, and mechanical. Right now we have some electricians running some pipe through walls. Um, our plumbers are almost wrapped up in this wing. Um, our HVAC guys are running their duct and down the center of the hallway and off into each um, room for the air conditioner and the, the heat and air in this room. We're, we're looking around 40 total classrooms, not all classrooms, you know, talking about offices, um, yeah. bathrooms, etc. about 40 on the top and bottom together. So, um, but like John said, we're, we're averaging around eight to 900 square foot per classroom um, and different, you know, we have the art room's obviously a larger, around 1,600 square foot, um, a, a, along with some of these other rooms that are a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. And I believe this is the art room that, right, that, yes, that, that, that you just mentioned. Correct. So not only do you have the art room here, but um, there's also going to be an out, outdoor, an outdoor art, art patio. patio. Yes, sir. Um, but also some space over here that could be used as a small kind of art gallery and, and things things like that. So yes, sir. again, extremely large room. Um, I believe this room is almost 1,300, 1300 square, square feet. feet. Yes, sir. This is a, our typical standard uh, first grade classroom. Um, have a bathroom inside the classroom here. Um, around 827 square foot, rough number. Um, but this is, this is gonna be your typical size classroom throughout this wing. All right, so what do we have in this space We here? have an assistant principal um, office is this area right here. So, so we have an assistant principal office on both ends Correct. of the hallway. We have an SRO office the in the middle, and we also have some office spaces upstairs. Correct, yes, sir. Uh, so this is uh, stair number two, that which will lead upstairs. It's kind of uh, uh, roped off right now just because we have uh, a, a stair ladder that our uh, subcontractors have access to, um, which our guys upstairs are installing door frames and installing block, um, which Chase alluded to a little while ago, that should be completed, uh, the, the B wing, uh, C wing rather, from this wing should be completed within three weeks. And, and these, this opening here um, will open up to the uh, an existing playground for students right. on this side, basketball, outdoor basketball court, right. and some other play areas as well. Right. So one thing I did want to mention, we also have um, some flex classrooms here and those classrooms are for, for expansion and, and, and growth, but also um, there are computer labs here, one on the first floor, one on the second Correct. floor, that are also um, going to be able to either be computer, computer labs or actually transitioned over to classrooms if we have growth. This gym area is also actually going to be separated. If you see these um, divots into the wall right here, there's going to be a curtain wall that's going to separate this. It's going to be a retractable wall that you could either close or open, which is going to separate your dining area, or you could have um, you know, for any performances, you can open it up, and this can all be seating area. So this, it, 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 it can be separated or it can be open at the same time. Okay, so, so on the other side is the cafeteria where students will eat on a regular basis. On a regular day, this is where students would enjoy their PE. Correct. But if we have large scale performances or, or large meetings, we can remove those walls and also use the stage. So as we walk in the music room here, we got super high ceilings. And so this is an actual large room as well, a lot larger than the typical Correct. classroom. This, this room here is going to be for storage, uh, also music storage. We have three music storage rooms, two inside the room, one outside the room, and then that's going to be your mu the office over there. And a wall full of, full of windows. Correct. Um, for students as well that will look out to the playground area and the basketball court. Correct. This open space here will eventually be there, the there. outdoor patio for the, the library, which will be, they'll have an outdoor learning space that students can access directly from the, the media center. Correct. Correct. This is also going to be another vestibule. Um, it's going to 
go directly across from the entrance. So this is also going to lead out towards the back patio. Um, so this wall here is going to come up and this, this actually won't be accessible. You couldn't come straight into the, the gymnasium area. This is all going to be covered. So you have to enter from here um, or, the, or the, the one furthest down. This space here, actually inside the media center, they'll have a actual reading room um, with tiered seating where classes can be brought in and, and have reading activities as well. So that, that's a unique feature. Um, as well as the professional library in the back, the AV room, the studio. Um, again, trying to make sure that we have the latest technologies and opportunities for, for our young Absolutely. kids. And this is our um, 4K kindergarten um, hallway where most of our babies oh, are yeah, going yes, to be in. And these classrooms are, are significantly larger than than the others. Right, you're looking um, around 950 square foot um, per classroom. So what we have here is a, I guess this is a first grade of kindergarten classroom where here's the classroom space. I believe that is the restroom back here, um, shared storage here. But this here is also going to be um, nice millwork. We're going to have um, microwaves, refrigerators. So everything is going to be in each separate classroom. So they won't, they, they, there won't be a need. You, you have it in your classroom. This is actually the, the bus loop um, that's going to buses will come in through this gate here and loop around and drop off drop the off back. back there yes sir and the kids will be able to come in right next to the cafeteria um, area so they can develop processes to to house large scale the kids or, or transition them to to and from class thanks a lot josh and i appreciate you guys spending the time and um again thank you for, for what you're doing you guys have done an outstanding job and your pace has been been great and i look forward to uh, finally being able to cut the ribbon and then have the students walk these hallways. Well, thank so thanks you, Dr. Much. Foster. I think we're ready. All right, guys, we're back here with contract construction at our third location here, Lake Marion Middle School. Excited. Now, as you'll see, this project is a lot further along as we hope to um, be able to move students here in August. So we're extremely excited about that. So I'm here with Tripp, uh, and he's going to be walking alongside us, kind of giving us some details as we have a sneak peek into the Lake Marion Middle School. So Tripp, tell us a little bit about what we might see today. Yeah, so hello everyone. I'm Tripp Olsen with Contract Construction. Uh, out here at Lake Marion Middle School, as you can see, we've started doing some exterior grading around the site. We've got the new curb and gutter in, hopefully getting this asphalt patched up here in the coming weeks. This will be the new bus loop and the new fire lane access. All right, guys, well, let's take a walk on inside and um, see what's going on inside of Lake Mary Middle. So great, guys, as you see, the difference between Clark uh, Middle School and, and Lake Mary Middle School, the same contractor, but we have gotten a roof on completely. So the same rain that, that impacted Clark, you see it's not impacting us here. So we're excited to see when Clark gets to this condition as well. Um, but I see some paint on the wall as well, Trip. So yeah, tell us so about that. So once you are able to get your roof system on, uh, you can start beginning to finish the walls, put some primer on, get your first coat of paint. That's where we are now. This is the first coat. So we have one more coat to do. As you can see around the door frames, we need to, we'll touch up some of that uh, to light gray, but it really makes a difference when you get those metal panels on the roof. So great. So as you walk in, this will be a secure vestibule so exactly. no one can go into the school without being um, buzzed into the main office. That's so correct. let's so, go ahead and take a walk into the main reception area. Like Dr. Foster said, this will be the main reception desk area. So you'll have a desk right here and it'll tie back into this wall. So, okay. And then excited. parents will then be buzzed out here. Um, That's if correct. They're, they're approved to go, go throughout the building. That's correct. That, there will be an automatic buzzer there, so that door will lock. You come down here, you have, I believe, principal offices, conference rooms, guidance, guidance offices, and those kind of things that are down. This is the office. Um, front office complex yes. um, so here. We refer to this as the administration wing or area, and these are all drywall separating the different offices. And um, already got the first coat of paint on here too, so these are really coming along. We're starting to hang ceiling grid. If you take a look at some of these rooms, you'll see uh, lights are starting to get hung, devices put in the ceiling, so we're very, we're very far along in this area of the building. So right here's our, our teacher work room. Um, so this is where teachers will come make copies. They have refrigerator, sink, and those kind of things um, for teachers during, during their, their break period, their mailboxes and things like that. Yeah, it'll be full of cabinetry and we'll have some nice flooring in here, so there should be plenty of space for teachers to work in here in peace. And typically, come as a parent, I would come in through that secure vestibule door that, that we discussed earlier, That's so correct. they would come in, but we came in through the office space, so they would come in, 
be buzzed in here. Yes, um, sir. Trophy case area. You get a brand new trophy well. case. You're gonna have a big mural on the wall, which is still mm -hmm. under design. So we're excited to see what the designer comes up with, but it's gonna be really nice. Great. So we come around this corner here and then we begin to make our way, have some office spaces, some conference room spaces, SRO office space, um, as well as some, some restrooms. Um, That's correct. As well. So he, here's where um, we begin to make the connection to the existing building that will be converted over to the middle school portion as well. Um, as we approved um, early on, the A wing of the current Lake Marion High School will become part of the middle school portion. Uh, that will give us the capacity we need to um, service all of our students and um, the shared spaces as well. So again, as, as we approve the initial plan, shared spaces will be the cafeteria. We're not building a new cafeteria. They'll share that cafeteria is large enough. Um, the media center will also be shared, but this school um, was built originally with two gymnasiums, so that one of those gymnasiums will serve the, um, the middle school, but also the band room um, as the band will, will play together. So there are some shared spaces that we outlined um, to make sure we're efficient um, and best use of taxpayers' dollars, but also able to give those educational experiences and opportunities to all of our middle school students who are ready to take high school courses. So, um, but right here, these will be exterior doors, correct, Trip, and this will correct. be a canopy um, and a secure um, yeah, so we'll, area. We're gonna start our canopy footings towards the end of April, and they will tie into this ex that existing building right there, so it'll okay. be seamless walking. So this is how students can get in from, from A wing um, over to the new wing. Yes, sir. And again, keeping all middle school students to, to this side of, of, of the school. That's correct. Except for those when they have to go to those shared spaces like the media center and the gymnasium. This will be classroom. We have science, English, math, social studies, uh, sixth through eighth grade. Okay. All right. And, and these classrooms here actually have their own built-in storage rooms um, in the back of the classrooms as well, which is a, a, an increased feature that, that the teachers don't have now as far as the storage in their, in their classroom for, for six of these classrooms here. And it's easy to have these storage rooms between the classrooms, so you don't not too much clutter going on inside the actual classrooms themselves. This is pretty straightforward, standard classroom. Mm -hmm. There's a um, data closet, electrical rooms. Uh, once we are, once we have the air, run, air conditionings running, our rooftop units are already set. Once we have permanent power in here, we'll be able to start moving some air, drying this floor out, and you'll start seeing us put our flooring down. So all windows have been installed, everything is? All windows are installed, we're waiting on doors, mm -hmm. and then we'll begin doing our final finishings. You guys have done a great job. Um, and again, everything you know, seemed to be on schedule and you guys are fault the weather. Thank you, um, yes, sir. But excited to see the, the, the distinct difference between where we are here um, and the progress. And again, when Clark is, is to this point, you'd expect to see a, a clean, dry, secure building and, uh, and, and more progress and paint on the wall. So yes, sir. again, thank you all um, for what you guys are doing and look forward to uh, final product. It's been a pleasure to work with you guys. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for spending time with us today on another episode of, or special episode of Foster Hill CSD with Dr. Foster. I hope this gave you an opportunity to see the great progress we're making here uh, with our facilities and the opportunities we're providing for, for our students here in Orangeburg. You know, it's always our goal, again, to show people and tell them what we're going to do, update them on the progress, and then tell them when it's done. Um, but I also want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our overall Orangeburg community. Without you and your vote of confidence in the $90 million bond refund, none of this would be possible. So thank you for your continued support. I hope this gives you something to go out and champion for the things that are happening here for our students in Orangeburg County School District. And again, wait for the next time for our next update. And I can't wait to see us cut the ribbon on this wonderful facility as well as our other facilities at Clark and East Lake Elementary School. The future for Orangeburg County students are great because this community has come together and spoken for progress. So thank you all again for everything you do and look forward to the next episode of Foster No CSD with Dr. Foster. Thank you.